Kenneth, are you with us? Oh, uh, yes, I am. So, Kenneth, why don't you tell us, uh, you know, how you got involved and when you started posting these films? Um, I heard of Alex probably in 2003, started mm -hmm. listening, and um, to, to his uh, radio show, and um, just he was pushing to upload the videos and, sh and stuff like that, so I started putting them up because it, you know, fell in line with, you know, what I believe in and everything. So you, you start posting these uh, videos over at Google and YouTube, and YouTube you have one of the very rare director's accounts, which allows you to print uh, or post the whole movie without any kind of uh, breaks, correct? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And it also lets you, you know, despite what Google Video did, Google Video actually took down the uh, counter numbers, and uh, YouTube still had those numbers. Now, you're, you're telling us that now they've taken down Fabled Enemies in another film as well? Uh, what they did earlier today, it was and it was after yesterday. Uh, Alex had said something on the uh, Sunday show uh, about my channel and uh, uh, posting uh, uh, the Obama deception. Um, this morning, the uh, the, the fatal um, uh, fatal enemies was taken down, which I haven't had a video taken down in like two years now, mm -hmm. something like that. And uh, I found it rather odd. So I wrote uh, editor at YouTube.com, and uh, like five minutes later, it was back up. Interesting. So they took it down, and then you write them, and finally they put it back up there. But why, why do you think that you know we have to fight so hard to get these movies on, onto the web? I mean, we work so hard in putting them out, putting them together. Then we put them out there for free, and <clears throat> all of a sudden our work is just taken down by these corporate giants. Why is that? Uh, you know, I'm not real sure. I mean, as, as far as like... I. I don't know. They used you used, used to be before Google had bought them. You know, a, a really nice website. That's what attracted so many people to it. And you know, after Google bought them, you know, they just they just started like forgetting about the people who helped them. You know, get that six point five billion dollars that they got from Google. And then they started really really cracking down on anything, any kind of uh, dissent whatsoever. You know, and I think it's all about the image, you know, and they, they want their sponsors and they want to, you know, make the money, you know, for their investment and stuff. You know, they're, they're all a part of it. I mean, it's, it's like uh, MTV back in the day when it came out. It started off as a really cool thing, and then, and then look what it turned into. Exactly. It always starts off enticing and bringing the young people in and a forum for everybody, and then they, they close the gap and they make it all mm -hmm. commercial. And uh, MTV is a great example of that. We're going to come back with Change the Channel. This is the Info Warrior with Jason Burmis, PrisonPlanet.tv, InfoWars.com. there on Google or YouTube. It's the full version of the Obama deception over at Change the Channel. And I gotta ask you, man, how did you upload it in such good quality? I mean, we always have trouble with that over here in the office. Is it because you have a director's account, you're allowed to uh, upload it in higher res? Oh, uh, yeah. I had, see, they started to beta test it back in um, early 96, and um, you had to fill out an application you know, for, it, uh, for the beta test. And I just so happened to got that. Then after they had beta tested it, they opened it to everybody. Everybody um, after the beta test got the regular director's account, and they could like upload, I think, to a hundred megabytes at that time. And mm -hmm. um, but they could only do ten minutes. Where they gave the beta test people who beta tested it, they let them. I think it was at the time uh, two hundred gigs and over ten minutes, and then. Just recently, they upped it all the way to 20 gigs that we could upload. Wow, that's impressive. So what did you take, one of the uh, DevX versions and, and upload it? Correct. Yeah, all right. Well, Was it the 697 megabyte or the gig one? The gig one, 1.1 1. 1 Yeah, so you, so you went from the highest quality, and it looks great, you know, and uh, already has uh, 41,000 views. And what, what's it, about three days old? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, I mean, it, very impressive. And, uh, you know, this thing is... Garnering tension not only from Politico but you know AIM and uh, it's it's really impressive. This could be Alex Jones's biggest uh, hit yet. Uh, you know, like I said, a lot of the pirate sites are throwing it up there. RLS Log, uh, one of the bigger ones, blogged about it this week. 
So uh, I'm pretty excited. You said you started uh, listening to Alex in 2003. Uh, what what was it that woke you up? Was it was it 9/11 that initially brought you into the fold? Um. Well, it's not during 9/11. You know, actually, uh, an activist at the time 9/11 happened, but um, I was still kind of you know, believe in the media, what they were saying, and stuff like that. And, and it took me a little bit of time in 2001 to, like, you know, you know, just with my eyes looking at, you know, like the, the World Trade Center's come down and stuff like that. And I'm like, well, you know, that, that just doesn't make any sense. It goes against basic physics. You know, you learn in high school, it doesn't make any sense. And it just started, you know, waking up. And um, then I, I got into the anti-war movement. Uh, I ended up going to Iraq in 2003 as a human shield, and when I got back, I was on, on the net and stuff, and I came across some uh, links to the Infowars.com. So I went over and started with Alex, you know, and um, I'd seen your, uh, your movie, The Loose Change, which was incredible, and... Um, you know, and I just started, you know, listening to you guys, and I was just like, yeah, that's right, you know, and, and researching what you guys were saying. And I was like, this is, this is absolutely correct. I mean. Well, you know, we thank you for, you know, being a true info warrior and continuing to put our material out there and getting, you know, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of hits and really millions in the culminative because, like I said, I think this movie is going to go larger than any Alex Jones film has gone. And, you know, you are a testament to what people can do. A lot of people call this program or call Alex's program, and they are asking for advice on what can I do, what can I do. And you're a prime example, you know. You know how to work a computer. You've obviously, I mean, you were in YouTube on the beta test. You know how to upload a file. And through that, you're able to reach, again, tens of thousands of people, and there are so many things everybody out there can do. Why don't you just speak to that, how, you know, it really takes an individual to step up and do something. You know, it, it's not about, oh, what can I do, what can I do, what can I do? It's about taking action. 